Hey, what's up guys? It is Jax with Panama City Cycles and in front of me I have a 2023 Riker 900. We've done a few things to this bike. Um, the first thing that will probably stick out to you is the gold wheels which just make this thing look awesome. I'm a huge fan of the gold wheels. Um, we also did the kit as well with the gold side panels up front and the gold on the hood. It's a three cylinder engine. Um, the 900 is awesome um, compared to the 600. It's got 82 horsepower um, and they're really, really fun to ride. They're really fun to slide. Um, you know, if you're looking for something fun, easy to ride, Can-Am's thing is anyone can ride. And I tell you what, anyone can ride this bike. It is very easy to ride. It is very rider friendly and uh, it's very maneuverable. Anyway, I just wanted to show you it because it looks so good with the gold wheels. Look at that. Bam! It's got we got 145 16s up front and a 205 16 in the back. Can-Am makes some accessories for it, windshield, saddlebag, um, and it just looks great with the gold wheels. I dig it. So I'm gonna hop on and tell you what I think. A little bit warm today. Hopefully it'll be a little bit cooler when we get on the road. Full tank of gas. Got your parking brake right here. Go ahead and turn that off. And then it's that easy. We are ready to rock. See, ooh -wee. Yeah, I really do like the 900. Um, 82 horsepower, it is tons of fun. Uh, very fun to ride, very fun to slide. Does great on, uh, look at me, I went to go shift gears. <laughs> oh man, it is a little tough to get used to if you're used to a motorcycle with a clutch. Um, but Can-Am's thing is anyone can ride, and I'll tell you what, that is a fact on these bikes. Um, they are super easy to maneuver, and they're really easy to ride as well. Um, very, very rider-friendly motorcycle, and um, they really are fun. If you just want something that you can get the motorcycle experience on, but don't have to really worry about shifting gears or balancing or you know anything like that, this is a great motorcycle, and you definitely do get the motorcycle feel on it. I mean, they handle well with the wheels up front. Uh, very stable. Go ahead and adjust my mirrors so I can see what is behind me. There we go. But yeah, 82 horsepower, which is plenty to have fun. Um, I have not ridden one in the dirt, um, but I will in this video uh, because I am actually doing a delivery on this motorcycle and um, I'm going to be bringing it to a guy's house. Brakes well. We'll do a brake test. Oh yeah, stops great. Like it's got some pull now, this thing will go. So we got your foot brake is all you got and that does all the work for you. Um, so you hit the foot brake and it activates all your brakes. It does have ABS, it does have traction control, it does have stability control, it has hill hold control. I mean everything uh, for peace of mind this motorcycle has. They have some accessories you can add, like I spoke of. You can add a windshield to be more comfortable and make a saddlebag for it. Um, you can also go two up. Um, you, can add, you can buy um, a little bracket that goes on the back, the max mount, and that max mount allows you to go two up. It also allows you to add the saddlebag. You can add a, a passenger's backrest. Um, they make a rider's backrest, uh, which they have redesigned for 23. But this thing is actually really nice without a windshield, to be honest. The back of my shirt is not flying up, uh, which is something that bugs me personally on a lot of motorcycles. Not an issue here at all. And it's very, very smooth on throttle. And very smooth off throttle. Yeah, definitely a comfortable ride. You can stretch out a little bit. Just go ahead and lay that foot over. 
look at that nice and comfy you can really do it on both sides just lean back and enjoy the ride Whee! I actually like my foot pegs a little bit closer um, and I will show you how easy that is when we get to the stoplight up here actually we're gonna go ahead and do that um, I'm gonna pull over in this median and I'll just show you guys real quick because I would like to show you and I feel like I'll forget if I don't so right there we'll come to a stop we'll put our parking brake on I'm gonna pick this up I'm gonna slide it back see how easy that is push it down now I'm in mid control position I'll do the same thing here I pull that up Slide that back. Connection. Put that one a little further forward. Make sure they're in the same spot. Good enough for me. See, I, I actually like that a lot better. The mid control position. And then uh, we'll take the parking brake off. And then we are good to go. Just like that bam like I said very very user-friendly bike uh, now I'm in a more comfortable position for me personally I prefer the mid control position uh, like I mentioned previously the motorcycle has 82 horsepower and 50 foot-pounds of torque which is really plenty for anybody to have fun so we got two piston brakes up front each wheel and then we got a one piston brake in the rear the bike stops just fine uh, we got 270 millimeter rotors up front a 220 millimeter rotor in the rear um, so this bike really has everything you need to feel safe to ride comfortably and to have fun what else do you need and they're priced reasonably um, and we have a couple right now uh, we have some 22s left um, that we are selling for a great price so check us out, PanamaCityCycles.com. Uh, check out our current inventory, and uh, we'll let the 22 goes. The 22s go for just a phenomenal price. It's got a good sound to it. CVT transmission with reverse. Right here is how you go in forward or reverse. Up here, you just wrap your toe around and pull it backward for reverse handles the bumps well has a KYB shock in the back so we have a couple different models this is the Riker 900 they also have the Riker 600 the Riker 900 Sport which has adjustable KYB suspension in the front and the rear and then we have the Rally uh, which has more of like an AT type tire on it and adjustable KYB suspension front and rear as well and then that one also comes with an Akrapovich exhaust so I have about 15 more miles to go here and uh, I will catch you guys on the dirt alright guys I am getting close to delivery and um, I just want to say the steering is surprisingly responsive um, the steering is really really responsible in this machine I mean it's it's incredibly responsive even at higher speeds it does really really well I'm very impressed with the uh, very impressed with the steering and the brakes and the sliding and then this will be my first time on dirt with this machine and I want I would like to see how it does on dirt Oh, the suspension is doing really well. Man, I'm really impressed with the dirt. It does really, really well. It's a... That's one great thing about this motorcycle too, is you can really take it anywhere that you would take a car. Is this 
Hey pretty, hey pretty babies, how y'all doing? You want it there? Right here? It does really well on the dirt. I think you'll be surprised. Yes, it does. It was nice. It actually, well, I thought it was going to be a lot hotter, but... Um, it, the bike does really well it didn't since the motors up here you ain't got to worry about the motor heating you up so it was a really nice cool ride